And also at 6, Georgia's election security back under a microscope tonight. This after an alarm went off at a warehouse containing tens of thousands of 2020 absentee ballots. Those ballots currently at the center of a lawsuit. Tonight, the Fulton County Sheriff's Office trying to reassure skeptics that those votes were not tampered with. CBS 46's Tori Cooper is live at the warehouse. And Tori, what are investigators saying? The county says two off-duty Douglas County deputies were hired to watch this door you see behind me because beyond that door lies a pathway to 145,000 voter ballots that are still at the center of an audit. But they tell us they're confident there was not a security breach following that alarm activation. The most important thing we know for a fact right now is that the room where the ballots are kept was never breached or compromise. Fulton County Sheriff Commissioners Rob Pitts says despite an alarm activation inside this building on Saturday, no one tampered with ballots secured beyond this door. The ballots remain safe despite what some would have you believe. They say there was a shift change happening at the time when the alarm went off. They say at the time there was also off-duty Douglas County deputies hired by a third-party company called TNT to watch over the building and they say they were the ones to spot the activation. Apparently there were off-duty Douglas County deputies that were aware of the alarm and made a, a security check. Whether it was right or wrong, improper or otherwise is yet to be determined, but during that security check they found a door that was unlocked. They say it was unlocked but not opened and there's video evidence showing deputies entering the building. He says there's also a secondary 100 pound alarm activated door beyond the door in question that helps secure ballots and that's not the alarm that was activated. What we have discovered is that it is a motion sensor on the second floor which is totally independent of uh, the, the location where the ballots are and we're trying to ascertain what set that alarm off. Now they still do not know why the door was unlocked, but as you can see, they have increased security here outside the building. They tell us that they have installed more cameras outside. You can see multiple different Fulton County Sheriff deputy cars on scene, and they will tell us more, obviously, as this investigation transpires. We'll bring you the very latest, but we also know that the GBI is not part of this investigation as of now. Reporting live in Fulton County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.